What's up guys, it's bye bye here. If you are 100% free to play active fire or someone who don't want to spend any money in Heroic Anthem or Strive the 8kvk, this video is for you. Uh, if you're not one of those two, you don't need to watch this video anymore. Uh, so for the 100% free to play active fires who still watching the videos, do not max or spend too much crystal on the crystal mine on the first 6-7 days. Uh, if you're going to do a lot of firings, you want to have as many firing researches as possible before your first big fire when the level 4 pass open, that is around 6 or 7 days after you enter KBK. So, uh, like the building, like upgrading the building costs crystal. Uh, here is the cost for upgrading the crystal mine here. Like upgrading the research center also costs crystal as well. And doing research, it also costs crystal. So like, um, why don't I want you guys to max the crystal mine building, right? Like maxing the crystal mine building early will definitely help you gain more crystal in the long run. But we need to take a look at the upgrading cost for the crystal mine and how much crystal can like a complete free to play account can generate every day. Uh, so let's look at the crystal upgrading cost here for the crystal mine. So this level 1 here, so this, this is from level 1 to level 2 here. And this is the total cost if you add, ding, if you add up all the crystal costs here for the crystal mine. Uh, to get to level 25 crystal mine, you're looking at 2.8, almost 2.9 million crystal. And at the beginning of the game, uh, when you enter KVK, you are given 1.5 million, which you can use which you can use all of them to upgrade the crystal mine if you want to, but that is not something that I would recommend. Why? So like for like a free to play account, you probably not gonna be able to generate a lot of crystal every day, especially at the early stage of the KVK. I think you probably gonna be able to get most at the first six, seven day is about 200 to 300 crystal every day. And if you look at the total cost here, like if you are going to focus on like just upgrading the crystal mine only, it's going to cost you 2.8 million crystal. And why is that a, such a big problem for like a free to play account? Because if you go spend all your crystal to upgrading the crystal mine, you could have a netting to upgrading your research. So let's say here, right? So instead of you, let's say if, instead of you going to like upgrading the crystal mine to level 25, Let's say you need to upgrade your crystal mine to level 16. And if you got, I mean, level 14. If you only upgrade your crystal mine to level 14 here, the total crystal cost is only 265,000 crystal. And if you minus 265,000 from 2.9, 2.8 million crystal here, you are left with 2.6 million crystal to do more researches. If you look at some of the research here, like they cost a lot of crystal here. And if you are going to spend so much crystal in the building, where do you go? Where do you go get the crystal to upgrade the researches? So there are some of the options here that I am considering: either level fourteen, level fifteen, or level sixteen. Or even if I go, even if I get to the level sixteen, a uh, crystal my level, I am still gonna be able to save two point four million, two point four million crystal that I can use to upgrade my research on the first six day. So like when the level four pass open, I'm gonna be much much better off in terms of supply a uh, war tech that I can use for fighting, right? Uh, like two point, like what, what can I get with like 2.4 million crystal, right? I could definitely get this one to level five, uh, marching speed right here. This is about now 5,000 crystal right here. I could definitely get it to level five as well. More mobility can definitely help, especially it works for all the marches. Uh, I can definitely try to get the attack formation a little as high as I can as well, or even trying or even trying to get down here, like the marching order, uh, or call to the arms that like increase the army's capacity as well, if, if possible, right? Like with that actual, if you could save that actual 2.4 million crystal from like, instead of you putting every single crystal you have in the building, if you're not gonna do that, you could have that actual 2.4 million crystal to invest in your researches that can help you fight. Um, so like, there is, there is one problem with the path. That is, you will lose out on about 300,000 crystal. 
20,000 crystal might seem a lot at the beginning, but at the end, it doesn't mean a lot because at the end, a lot of research got cost a lot more crystal. So that is something you need to keep in mind as well. Uh, you might ask me, why are we losing on 20,000 crystal? Uh, it is because your crystal mine is not going to be able to generate as much crystal as it's good for the six, seven days. So instead of you get it to as high level as you could, you keeping it at around level 15, level 16. So it, it missing out on some like crystal per hour there. So it's roughly, roughly the number you're looking at is roughly around 200,000. So still, right, like you can still go be able to save a lot of crystal uh, to, to do, to work on the research. Like, so instead of you spending every single crystal on the building, you're going to have a more crystal you, you can spend on the research. Uh, so that is something uh, you need to keep in mind those 200,000 crystal you're going to lose in the long run. Uh, so like in, in, in exchange for it, you will be stronger, right? So there is always like a cost benefit, right? You cannot just get everything, especially for like a free to play account. You gotta give up on something to gain on something else. And for me to gain that extra few percent, few percent stat boost for something is definitely more beneficial for me because I am an active fire and I need those uh, extra stat boosts. Uh, remember like people killing each other over those legendary CD skin, which only gave you like 5% more stat boost. So imagine if you can like plan out your research and you can give your, uh, your marches actual stat boost from the Hero Anthem KVK research, it's gonna help your fighting quite a bit. Not like super crazy, but it's gonna help you, uh, especially if you gotta fight for a long, long time. So that is the first tip for you guys. If you are doing the Hero Anthem KVK or Stripe the 8 KVK, uh, I'll be doing a live update on my researches. Uh, so this is the Excel sheet here that I will be uh, sharing with you guys. So this is where I will be doing my live update on my research here. So for this KVK, I do not plan to spend any money as I want to focus my crystal research to... Um, okay, so this KVK, I do not want to spend any money and I want to focus my crystal researches to help with uh, fighting. Uh, my research path is to maximize on, on my fighting power and not on the amount of season coin I can achieve by the end. So please keep that in mind. And the data here is updated anytime I make any kind of progress in my KVK, so you can compare it with yours. Uh, so let's say anytime I, I, I upgrade a building, I upgrade my crystal mine, I'm gonna update the uh, spreadsheet here so that you can get an idea. And if you can just like go back here once in a while to see my progress, if you are interested to see and to compare my progress with my progress with your progress. Anyway guys, um, just want to make like a quick videos to get you guys like a, a first tip for Hero Anthem KVK or Strap the 8 KVK. Uh, thanks for watching the video guys.